I'm a strong believer of allowing them to be kids as well and being being able to play. If you're signing a player and it stops them playing grassroots football or playing with their friends and suddenly they're in a regimented environment, there are benefits to it, but then there's the other side to it where actually just let them misbehave or actually don't let them just try things. Um, and I actually worked with a, a, a club a couple of weeks ago and their philosophy was, it was under eights, was trying to get the players to play like they're in the academy. And I was like, what does academy mean to you? Um, and they were in fixed positions. The defenders couldn't go past the halfway line. And I was like, they're kids. Let them be ants around the football. Let one child try and take on the other <laughs> eight players on the pitch. It doesn't matter. So I think we just have to remember they need to be kids. They need to misbehave. They need to do something wrong. They don't need to be stuck in position. So <clears throat> I don't agree with the whole free academy and stuff. However, if it's managed in the way that you're adding to their training, so that young child is getting exposure to a coach that's qualified, got lots of experience that can help them learn, but then they can go back to their grassroots environment and play with their friends. That's what I encourage with a lot of the teams that I still run. Um, I think the grassroots, grassroots things, the grassroots things taken out of our hands a little bit, um, rightly or wrongly, in terms of the foundation phase that there could maybe an an exception with the uh, with the under nines, tens, elevens, but our games program is on a Sunday. Most grassroots clubs play on a Sunday, so there's the there's the little problem. I think that as long as that um, managing expectation, allowing them to experiment, certainly at our club and the clubs that I've worked at, we don't have fixed positions at all in the foundation phase, other than the goalkeeper, and even then we've had a couple of goalkeepers that play out. Um, and and we we've always allowed that. I think that once they start playing eleven aside football, um, you start to get a little bit more pigeonholed, but initially into an area rather than a position. And by fifteen, sixteen, probably one or two positions are where players need to be. That's just my opinion. Yeah. Now, I've got you know my thoughts on this. In an ideal world, I wouldn't want any academy to take a player onto at least under 12s um, because I feel the real importance for, for kids to enjoy it. Now, the reason why um, certain, uh, you know, certain academies wouldn't, so, so some academies would just rather work with from under 12s, but the problem is the dangers of losing out a player. Um, and that, that's the simple reason why you're starting to see younger kids going into academies, you know, and, you know, going in with the kit and they're, they're like, they're treating them like mini professionals. And uh, I'm not comfortable with that because already you're pigeonhole the, the parents feeling as if, oh, my little boy is going to, and it, it's too much too soon. And the, da the danger where we're going with this is that it's just going to get, continue to get lower and lower in terms of the age groups. And, and look, we know, we know, um, the way academies are now and the environment is now. Sometimes you look at pre-academies and it's great to see where, you know, it's it's one ball and it's it's it's, it's kids just playing football. So are are they able to create the street football or the, the playground atmosphere within their training session, within a pre-academy? That would be fantastic. However, the issue is when parents go to these and see this, they might not think it's professional enough. So <laughs> It's 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 a it's a real difficult balance, and, and again for me, uh, if I had a child, that would I take him into academy? Probably not to a later, because I just know about you know them enjoying grassroots football, enjoying it with their friends, and and gaining. And maybe that's my my view because I've come from a grassroots environment. But certainly, you know, the the ages that some of them are going in now is just ridiculous, and they're doing. Some of them in the pre-academy could do Monday night at Arsenal, Wednesday night on uh, at Chelsea, Friday night at Charlton. And it's just, I don't know, it's just, it's just a bit too much for me. It's just a bit too much. Yeah, you're right. I think that um, the, the pre-academy stuff is all a little bit dangerous in terms of 
chasing around all oh, my sons at this that yeah. or the other or is that like the three clubs you mentioned up here it, it's obviously very difficult to to do that there are yeah. there's less of it um i think it's marco sullivan who called it the race to the bottom yeah um in terms of how much younger can we recruit our players you know i'm seeing stuff now with uh, you know under threes and people on yeah. social media they want sessions um for their under twos um well firstly if you're taking under twos you know more about them than i do <laughs> secondly what do you want a session for some of them can barely stand up so mm. i do you, you're right you do have to be careful with it what i would say going back to the, the point that you just made dave about um you wouldn't want to take your kid in there till he was 12. yeah my opinion you'll have missed out by then well that, that's the problem and that's the yeah. that's, that's why isn't it uh, that is the problem for facing parents that they, yeah. they, they don't want that there's only a, a finite number of players in a squad squads in an academy etc etc yeah that's the real world that's the real world that you know academy coaches are are dealing with they're not able to um i don't think live in this world of rainbows and unicorns where everybody gets equal game time everybody gets yeah. this everybody gets that everybody gets a participation trophy it is competitive it should be competitive because life is competitive yeah um i think the guys have kind of summed it up and i think um we just just need to be mindful that they are kids and we just want to encourage them to just play um it's difficult for them and i remember last season um i had a group of my under nines and the opposition um, parent said oh can my son um, come and train with you and went, yeah and um the first thing he said to me was um oh, he's already been released from seven clubs and i just looked at him and went, <laughs> what <laughs> <laughs> How what in your yeah, uh, Tottenham didn't want him back last week. Can you imagine like, well, the psychological effect on that? Wow, under nine. Under nine. Wow. And I was like, How has he been released from seven clubs already? And he's under nine, so just remember they're kids.